Welcome back to another video where Karens face unexpected consequences. We're kicking things off with the jaw-dropping scene, elderly Karen spits at a black woman, then this happened. Then, to a more shocking moment like the entitled DoorDash delivery, demanding an outrageous tip, employees taking on cart thieves, a racist Karen asserting I'm white and we rule, and a moment when a racist Kevin tells someone to go back to their country. So, let's dive right Right in. in this clip, we encounter an ungrateful delivery rider. Hi. Hello. Come here, Max. 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 Yep. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I just want to say it's a nice house for a $5 tip. <laughs> You're welcome. Ooh. What's the house got to do with the tip? As the lady mentioned, a $5 tip for a $20 pie seems reasonable. The hustle to get through to this Karen logically is next to impossible as she will not back down from causing a brawl. He's leaving. He doesn't live here. He can't leave until I move, and I'm not ready to move. I wasn't here but for 30 call seconds. I walked in to call pick you, up my daughter. Call who you're calling. You're not supposed to stand or park in somebody's driveway. Ma'am, it's in front of a building. I did not know. You My car was running. Drive. The final proclamation of entitlement right there. Fine. We didn't know what that. What apartment do you live in? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. I I'm did not know. I did not know. I didn't park in a handicap. You don't know. My car was park running park the whole driveway. time. I was here for less than two minutes. So I can go to your I, house. I walked in. Ma'am, I already no, apologize. I bet he didn't expect that retaliation from the customer service rep. More power to her. I'm no, not trespassing. I leased this garage. Okay, and, this and that's why I'm trying to move. And I'm trying to move. move. You shouldn't have been You're being there in the first place. Do you not understand? All right. For two minutes, he can't pick up his daughter? No, that's not a parking right, spot. Right. Okay. Can you move? And, and you're not in a parking spot. You're actually partially up in the fire lane. So let, let's be on that. How about we do that? No, you're entitled. That's right, because I'm white and we rule. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's you. That's you. That's you, right? Oh, how the tables have turned on this one. Get ready for some pure freak out from a Portuguese Karen. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able Portuguese Karens are just on another level. Sad to see such a miserable and frustrated person. What it must have been like to be at the scene, oh man. Why wouldn't Karens go wise with age? You just hit that car. I'll go inside. You hit her car. I'll go inside. Look at this. Ooh. I'll go back yep, up and I'll go inside. She's saying, hey. I haven't touched you. Oh, really? She just, you just I'm hit her car. Right now. No, I didn't. Here begins the denial phase. Buckle up, everyone. No, no, I'm going to get through. Props to the lady whose car has been hit. She was calm and respectful to the Karen. You just hit this lady shit. That's that's a whole. Lot. Hey, call the police so she can so she can get her. Uh... I'm not. You can send me your information right here. Oh, you're leaving? Get her Is that what plate. you said? Get her license plate. Get her license plate. Leaving after pooping all over the place. What else can you expect from Karens? P.S. She later comes back calling the police. We have yet another racist freakout. 
Yeah, you don't know police me, are on What you got? What you got, boy? Go back. Get your fat piggy. Ain't that piggy? Oh, that piggy don't like me. She this guy is really crossing the line, but it's impressive how professional and calm the staff are. They should be getting a raise. If only all racists were eradicated, the world would be a much better place. We supposedly have here an anti-bullying protest. Or perhaps just against a certain bully. And a Karen interrupting the scene in the name of safety. Can I see? Can Who I are see you? Are you the principal? Are you the principal? Who are you? Who are you? Are you the principal? You guys are bullying in your school? Huh? I care about safety. Safety? Okay, so how come you didn't care when um the, when the little boy had beat her up and kicked her in the back? Where were you at then? Why did you care about safety? Well, she got her there. Boy, so obviously the boy, the boy's parents, the dad must be whipping the mom's ass, right? If he's if a little boy is hitting a little girl, that must mean his dad is whipping his mom's ass, right? Right? Where did you get that out of her? So you don't care about the safety of the students because you didn't do. Ooh. Correct. What's your name? What's your name? I guess the Karen knows she's at fault here, but instead of admitting her mistake or responding, she's silent. What's your name? If you care, she says she cares about the safety of the students. She says she cares about the. You're gonna be live on. You're gonna be all over uh, social media. This was probably a bad idea, is what she's thinking. She says she cares about the safety of the students. Or so, well, where y'all was the little boy with him? Assaulted. Where was? Where were? Where were you? We want to know where she was at. Where were you? She's got nothing to say. Where were you? Where are you? Where were you at when she was getting um, hit by a little boy? Where were you at? Is this what one would call standing up? Go on and let us know in the comments. We have here employees trying their level best to stop a couple of shameless thieves from stealing carts full of stuff. <laughs> This is the Royal Rumble of shopping carts. Why isn't any of the staff intervening? Oh my god. Great! Move on to other targets! Just sad! You know it's a deadly combination when grumpy grannies get the Karen Syndrome! This is where your property ends, honey. Right here at your driveway. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. That's my light. Yes, it does. That's my light. Yes, it does. Can you stop coming on my That's property? That's your light right there. This woman is starting problems when there isn't even one. Now you're on my property. This is my property, hon. My property, hon. This is my property. You are still on my property. And if you weren't such a nasty little prick, I would. Stop, you're breaking it. Oh, I'm breaking it. You're on my property. Just wait, it gets better. Got that on video. Me too. From dragging his stuff on his property to throwing poop at it. What? Throwing poop at it. Oh! Ew! Dude. Well, they've come a long way. <laughs> Stupid <prick. laughs> 
That laugh is so creepy. That woman is seriously damaged. Get out of my life. Get off my property. Stop throwing other people's dogs. Get off Get my property. Go. Get off my property. You're I kick will me do again? it. Yes. Okay. Get off my property. I'm calling the cops now. Please call the pup. Call them. I will because you hit me. You kicked me. You kicked my dog. Call them, please. If this isn't the epitome of a blossoming neighborly friendship, well, I don't know what is. Okay, so there's freak out, and then there's freaking out all over the place. Kind of like this one. Okay. It's just a little embarrassing that he's been Ooh. my neighbor. Because you've been coming to my house and stealing my medicine. Mary. You've been harassing me Mary. and hacking me for three years. I have the voicemail to prove it. You do? You and your mom Ooh. call. Ooh. I, have I have it. Get your ass. I have it. You will go to jail today. I don't care if she's videotaping. Now watch how this Karen is to her own folks. He's a, he's a loser, Mary. He's a loser. 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 Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out of my car. Move from my car. This household is absolutely crazy. They're driving each other nuts. Move so I can leave. Move so I can leave. This is my food. Kevin, you can't marry. Stop that. Stop. Ah! Perhaps she's suffering from a mental disease. I don't know, sad if that's the case. This is the plight of a victim just trying to get justice for an alleged misbehavior towards her. Unfortunately, from a Karen and from two cops. What, you, you ask, you're asking me why I'm complaining yeah. on your officers and I'm telling you I can show you a video and you're telling me you don't want to see the video. I don't want to hear from you. What is it, what is it? <laughs> All right, so. I was in the mall. Basically, they didn't protect me. They didn't. They didn't try to make from the woman that was trying that attacked me and chased me around the store. They didn't ask her to leave or anything. Clearly, the woman has been through something awful. Let's see if the officer does something. They weren't able to ask her to leave the mall. I've never heard of such a thing. Because if I was chasing her around the store, I'm sure I would have been asked to leave the mall and or arrested. Well, and believe, I showed him the video. Why do you believe that? Sad that even the police don't believe her. What you mean why I don't believe that? Because believe that? he's really not getting the point she's trying to make, is he? Okay, I'm asking you, I want to file a complaint against your two officers. You said I can do that with you, right? Because I, I, I see this I'm is getting nowhere. I'm going to give you an internal affairs complaint form. You're going to fill it out. I'm going to pass it on to the internal affairs unit. And they'll, they'll be doing the investigation. We hope she gets justice. All right, let us know who you think is the Karen here. Hello, Hi. I'd just like to have a word. Someone's just been having smoking weed, which is coming from your flat. My daughter has just had a newborn baby, and it's not very good, is it? It's, we're not smoking weed. Yes, you are smoking I'm weed. smoking cigarettes. First, she makes up a stupid excuse of a newborn, as if the newborn is right outside their house. Then she gets the weed part wrong. Do, I'll, I'll do a drug test. You know how, you know how her, 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 husband, her boyfriend, boyfriend smokes weed? Her boyfriend in, smokes weed. Her, I've got evidence of it on my phone. Come here a minute. Well, we'll get the police. Listen, forget all we'll that. Get the police. Shh, shh, shh. Take yourself back to the house. There's no point. Take yourself back to the house because you're being stupid. I'm not if being it, if stupid. If it was weed you want to smoke, I would come and smoke it in front of your face. Boom! Have some of that, Karen. You are a little woman. I know. Yeah, so why are you here? It's because my daughter. Send your daughter down. Had a new send your daughter down. Or send her boyfriend. Her down. boyfriend will come down. I'm her boyfriend. Here. I'm her mother. Her, uh, you can, can come I down. Too bad the video finished too soon. We have another footage of a Karen neighbor. Right. We have to do the work. Thank right, you. Go back inside. Thank you. Go back inside. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Your driveway is cracked. It's been cracked. Okay, we, we've we been through this more than once. Why do you keep coming out here? How many times? They haven't even done anything yet, and she's already prepared to fight a war. Okay, thank you. Karen sure doesn't know how to exit out of arguments, does she? Because it is fixed. It's just not to your liking. It's not. What? 
No. Shut the shut up. Just go in the house. You sound crazy. Just go in the house. You sound crazy. And so I am. So am I. I'm sick of you. And you need to just go in the house and leave me the hell alone. Does anyone even know what they're fighting about now? They be. If you're going to sue me, sue me. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. It would probably be a very different scenario had the roles been reversed. Here's a good citizen Karen who enforces the anti-idiot law. I want you to know that I called the police and you're not going anywhere. Why did you call the police? Because you should have to pay for parking like an idiot. Pay for par I just just dropping something off really I don't quickly. I really care what your reason is. The police are on their way and I'm just really tired of people like you with no respect for how The to police park. are not coming. Yes, they are coming. No, they are not. Yes, they are coming. For what? To give you a ticket. For what? Parking like an idiot. What? Hear that, guys? The police are coming to give this guy a ticket for parking like an idiot. <laughs> Women. <laughs> I'm gonna leave. You're not, you're not leaving. What? You're not going anywhere. What are you doing? I'm just gonna make sure you stay here. For what? For what reason? I don't... Are you, are you you're filming me now? I'm filming you filming me, yes. You know why? Why? Because you're an idiot. Because I'm an idiot. I want proof of it. The you want proof of what? This video. It's hilarious trying to use logic with a Karen. It's like talking to a wall. People have a life, you know. It's not all about you. you I'm not saying that it is. I'm saying I'm just trying to leave. Get off my mirror. You're not going anywhere. What? What do you mean? I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. I'm you're just supposed to sit here and be still. Are you the cops right now? I am right now until they get here. No, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. Delusional determination. You know, we gotta give it to her. Well, you know what? If I raise you, I would make you stay in your room. You would make me stay? Okay, you're, this is insane. You're just a complete rando, like, hanging on my mirror right now because I parked not up to your standard. She's telling him that if she raised him, she would ground him to his room. This is so funny. No, you can't. Yes, I can, and if you move this truck, you're gonna hurt me, and if you hurt me, I'm gonna sue you. So then you're gonna be in a whole world of trouble. You can't sue me, you're hanging on my car. I can sue you if I feel like it. What's your name? You're gonna sue me for, I'm not gonna tell you my name. What's your name? Donald Duck. Donald Duck, yes. all right. Wow, that tells me a lot about your mentality and why you would park get, like an idiot. Get off my car, I'm, I'm seriously not. gonna move. This dude is going to double check if Karens are around before he ever attempts to halt his vehicle. And just when you thought you could enjoy an empty park, a Karen is always there to ruin it. You know it's actually illegal to film minors? Are you aware of that? Filming with her tablet, such a Karen thing to do. Okay, they can come. I already called the police. Call the police. But what I fail to understand is, what is that woman doing wrong? Is there a Karen virus spreading among older women? You are literally not that far away from me. You could, there, there's a big old park. You can be anywhere else but near me. Can you please get away from me? I do not feel safe. I'm kindly asking you, since you've been harassing me for several days. Okay, and I didn't say get out of the park. I said, can you please get away from me? Exactly. You have zero right to tell me. Okay, you are now getting closer to me. Can you please get away from me? I do not feel safe. Neither do I. So if you don't feel safe, why are you near me? Seems to us that old ladies are becoming Karens because they got nothing else to do. In this video, we'll learn about Newton's third law. Every action has an equal but opposite reaction. She 
she fully deserved that slap after she tried spitting on a person, and look at how she's overreacting now. Pathetic. As we come to the end of this compilation, one thing is certain. Actions have consequences. From the jaw-dropping opening to the subsequent encounters. Thanks so much for joining us on this wild ride. Remember, karma never misses a beat. Until next time.